What's going on guys, my name is Tom, and I want to make a video about this newly implemented Match Composer and give you guys my opinion about these stupid ass quit bands. So first and foremost, the Match Composer is everything I thought it would be and more. When MCC was first announced, I thought that's how the game was going to be. I thought we were going to be able to pick and choose what games we wanted to play. However, that was not the case. Fast forward to October of 2017, 343 announces they will be working on MCC again. A bunch of us throughout the entirety of 2018 give 343 an enormous amount of feedback, only to find out that most of it was overlooked. Now, those of you guys who know me know that I was a huge fan of mixtape matchmaking. I made many videos on the topic. I tried to be as civil as possible. And regardless of the attention that I got from those videos, nothing happened. We were told that that was quote unquote, not in the scope of the project. August of 2018, the big patch drops, it fails. The game died once again, but finally, 343 Industries in November of 2018 realizes they cannot force players to play games they don't want to play. Congratulations guys. But that's all water under the bridge. Even though this feature should have been in the game probably years ago, it's finally here. And this is probably, yeah, this is the best thing to happen to this game, period. So if you don't know what the Match Composer is, it's virtually an automated custom game. It's a social matchmaking mode where you can pick the game size. So you could play like 1v1s, 2v2s, 4v4s, 8v8s. You could pick the game. So if you don't like a certain game, you could just uncheck it. And you could also pick the game types. You can get as specific as you want to. So if you just want to play Halo 3 only, 4v4 CTF, well, you can do that. And even when you get specific, the queue times are still pretty quick. When a new player downloads the patch, everything is checked by default, which means no matter how specific you actually get, you're still going to have the opportunity to find matches. Now, for me, I play the two most populated games on MCC. Halo 2 and 3, so I can't speak on the Halo 1, 4, or H2A queue times, but I would imagine that there are people playing those games because, like I said, all new users have everything checked by default. Now, anybody who has a brain probably realizes that you could actually force certain maps by getting specific. For example, if you play Halo 3 and you don't want to get a map like Snowbound, then all you have to do is uncheck whatever game types have Snowbound in the hopper. Now, to see what maps support each game type, simply uncheck every game type but one, search for a game, look at the maps, and then back out. Personally, I like the maps that CTF supports for Halo 2 and 3, but to each their own, so make sure you check before you play. Now, my biggest grievance with the Match Composer is there's no standard FFA and there's no oddball. I have no idea if that was overlooked for a reason. Maybe the game types are in development, but I think social FFAs would be really fun. That being said, I commend 343 for the implementation of mixtape matchmaking. The feature was long overdue, and as I've said on multiple occasions, you cannot force players to play games they don't want to play. And that leads me to my next point, which is quit bans. So I quit one time last night because my teammates all quit and I was banned from matchmaking for 10 minutes. Now, why should I, or anybody else for that matter, be subjected to sitting in a game for 12 to 15 minutes, getting statted on by kids who are fucking retards, instead of just being able to quit? Think about it, does that actually make sense? Why would I stay in a game 1v4 and prolong the inevitable? I mean, I'm gonna lose anyway. The game was a waste of time. Not only for me, but the people that I was playing too. And if you quit twice in X amount of minutes, I don't know the exact time, but they're gonna ban you even longer. In social, if one of your teammates quits out, you should be able to quit without penalty. Now, the one workaround that still works is you can just simply switch accounts. The ban is tied to your gamer tag, so if you do get banned on one of your accounts, just simply switch. They did fix the exploit where you delete your data and you could get unbanned. And if I manage to find any type of workaround for this ban bullshit, I will post it. But in the meantime, just simply switch accounts. I mean, try not to quit because, I mean, I heard about people getting council bans. But if you do quit for whatever reason and you get banned, just switch accounts and you should be fine. But anyway, that's it for me. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Love you guys.